Hello! Marissa Scout here with your fifth at-home adventure. Today, we will be working on our I'll Do It Myself activity. Are you ready? Good! Let's get scouting! I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. On my honor, I will do my best to do my duty to God and my country and to obey the Scout law, to help other people at all times, to keep myself physically strong, mentally awake, and morally straight. A Scout is trustworthy, loyal, helpful, friendly, courteous, kind, obedient, cheerful, thrifty, brave, clean, and reverent. Oh my goodness, Scouts, what a mess. See, I was getting my uniform from my closet for the meeting today, and I got a little distracted by the rest of my scouting gear. And now look, what a disaster. Have you ever made a mess before? Yeah, this is definitely not my first mess. Sometimes I just get so excited that I forget to clean up as I go. But my mom always told me that if you make a mess, you have to be prepared to clean it up. You know what? I think maybe I should find a way to keep all of my scouting stuff organized and together. What do you think? Will you help me make a Lion Scout bag today? Oh, thank you. Okay, so for a Lion Scout bag, we need a hanger, material like felt, maybe an old t-shirt, or even a reusable grocery bag like I'm going to use, three, hot glue, tape, or a sewing needle and thread, and four, Maybe an adult to help you put it all together. And, voila! Now all of my scouting gear is organized. Would you like to make a Lion Scout bag this week? I think that's a great idea. Especially so you won't end up with a mess like mine. See, I made two pockets and I added a little bow. But you can make as many pockets as you need for your scouting gear and decorate it however you want. When you finish, don't forget to drop a picture in the comments below. Next on the agenda is the personal care checklist. Now this is a list of things that you can do yourself without being told. Can you think of some things that might go on your list? Yeah, brushing your teeth, putting toys away, feeding the pet, and even taking out the trash. Now while you're at home this week, I want you to make a personal care checklist to help remind you of all the things you can do to do your part the very best you can. Because a scout always does their what? Right, best. The last part of today's meeting is to practice tying shoes. Now sometimes I wear shoes that don't need to be tied, like my sandals. But other times I wear shoes like tennis shoes or hiking boots that have some pretty long laces. It's important for me to tie my shoes, and you as well, so that you don't trip and fall. Now I know that tying shoes is tough, but I promise that if you keep practicing, you'll get it. So today, I'm going to demonstrate how I tie by using my tennis shoes. But if you're still learning, it sometimes helps to practice with something bigger or stiffer, like pipe cleaners, and using laces that are two different colors. Also, it is important to remember that there are a lot of different ways to tie your shoes. I'm just going to demonstrate the method that I use. Are you ready to get tying? Awesome. 
So first, you grab your laces, one in each hand. Next, you cross the laces to make an X. Then, you put one lace under the other. I like to call this a loop-de-loop. -loop. And you pull tight. From there, you make each lace into a loop, kind of like bunny ears. Cross the bunny ears to make another X, just like you did before. Pull one ear under the other, another loop-de-loop, -loop, and pull tight. And there you have it. Your shoe is tied. This week, I want you to keep practicing at tying your shoes. There are lots of resources on the internet explaining the different ways to tie your shoes. If you want to try a different method, you can look up some of these other videos, but don't forget to ask a parent or guardian's permission. Alright, Scouts, that's it for now. Until next time, happy scouting!